Hi, this is M, and in our marker portion of our color enhancement series, where I got the Auhu uh, alcohol markers, the one thing that I'm doing today, which is why I turned the camera on, is I'm looking at Cosmos, and Cosmos has been one that here's here's how it gets once it starts to fade, and then here's one where you know they're they're not really faded fading yet and one of the things about cosmos is if you use anything with met, wet mediums like the paints and things like that or even water uh, based markers as soon as you lay the color down they will start to shrivel up and i haven't found anything that would stop that until i started playing around with these alcohol markers i don't know what's taken me so many years to <laughs> to try alcohol markers, but uh, nevertheless, it's never too late. And so that's what I'm doing today, and I, I had a couple thoughts about it, and that's why I wanted to share with you in case anybody else is interested. One of the biggest challenges I'm having, of course, is making decisions about color. This color here, and let me bring the camera closer. Okay, so this color here, is actually closer to what it looks like out in the garden. But what happens oftentimes when you press flowers, or for that matter, eco, even eco uh, printing flowers, and some of you may already know this, is that they don't always press or dry <clears throat> or eco press in the same color that they grow in the garden. Reds tend to go darker oftentimes, and a lot of times yellows will turn a little bit more orange, etc. And so I found this, this is the P1 in the Auhu marker. And these are, like I say, alcohol based. And I really like this color. So I just wanted to demonstrate, if you're interested in doing something like this, how you would do it. Get yourself a little piece of paper towel or finger cot, or you can use your finger. And what I do is these centers are big enough I can just use my finger to hold it down, but if they were really small, I'd use a toothpick or something else. And first you want to start up by the yellow area and kind of get down under it. And, I, and that will help to... Um, make sure that the color works in and then start swiping out and just make sure you get it all and do one petal at a time and then I'm going to use this on my finger and I'm going to draw it out I don't know why this looks like a different color than the other one I used. Eh, maybe not. Okay, so then go around and do the same thing. Get up under there. And then draw it out. And the nice thing about these is that being alcohol based and drying so fast, it's not causing them to curl. I mean, Cosmos will, the ends will kind of go up a little bit, even if you just sit them in the air. So they'll, that's, that's normal. That's nothing to do with the alcohol markers. I tend to be obsessive compulsive, and now that I've gotten on this alcohol marker kick, I, uh, I'm really getting kind of obsessed right now with trying different things with the alcohol markers, especially things that I haven't been successful with paint or water-based markers. And I've been wanting to do a picture under glass using Cosmos, but I just haven't found anything that I could uh, tempt them with. So let's put this on a... See how nice that is? And then I'll use a little... Uh, find an uh, or, uh, 
ochre type yellow for the center and just stipple it a little bit. That's too not right. I haven't swatched these out, so it's all right. Let's use these tweezers to hold this down while I do a little stippling. With these centers like this, you could take a couple of different yellows and stipple around. Kind of an ochre or maybe a little lighter one for some highlights, depths. Let this dry real good and then until you're ready to use it, put it back in your paper sandwich and put it under back in your book. Keep some slight pressure on it. But yeah, so that that will work. And now you've got a uh, something that, that you have revived and can use. In this case, like I say, I want to make a picture to hang on the wall. Now, I do have, even though this is not what they look like, but let's say you want a purplish. I brought out a, this is P4. And let's see what kind of purple that is. It's pretty close to what's on here. Let's go ahead, what the heck, and let's make a purple cosmos. I probably won't do the whole thing on camera, but we'll do a couple petals just to see. Yeah, this is really close to how um, these dry. But I want to show you the difference that it makes in unifying the color. And now, as this starts to fade a little bit, like the petals on the other one that I showed you were faded, uh, these will still have a tint on them. And so they'll, well, except for when you break it off. Although that's okay, if you have a really nice Cosmos, don't throw it away because you can put it back under there. You can finagle this and you can put it back under and glue that onto this little, little segment here. So it's it's not a waste. Let's see. So don't throw something away just because a petal falls off. But I don't know if you can see the difference between. Let's see if I can bring it up to the camera without. Okay, here's the one that we did. And then you see how these are starting to fade a little bit here. Well, it just brings it all together. So I'll end up doing doing those, like I say, off camera. I just wanted you to get, it, get an idea of how to work it. Then the other thing that I wanted to show you, which is just a little bonus material, really has nothing to do with this, but I used these markers, and I'm still trying to get my colors down, but I just did some uh, little elements. These were using the different markers. I'm doing a marker series of videos and I don't know when or if I'll get them posted so maybe you'll see me coloring some of these, maybe you won't. But I just thought I'd leaf through a couple of them because now they could be used for clusters or tags or cards or I just happen to have a dictionary down here in my work area which is what I just grabbed. This one <laughs> I actually used an overlay of uh, Perlex just because I wanted to see what happened if I if I did that. And then this, I left this ragged because this is going to get another flower or it'll get a word a word phrase or some um, some fabric bit or lace or something as it becomes part of of something more, I guess you'd say. So that's it for this, just a short little video to uh, show you how alcohol markers will color Cosmos and not cause them to uh, shrink up or get all mangled. So yay. <laughs> okay, you have a great day. Thanks for tuning in.